the why of the Dropbox to IPFS project is to um, help non-technical project to to uh, to, um, to migrate all the data to, to IPFS. So um, so there are maybe three main problems uh, of using of using Dropbox today. Um, the first is this is a centralized centralized platform, so many users want to to migrate from Dropbox or any pro cloud providers to to IPFS, but how can we help non-technical users to migrate to IPFS without using some CLI or something? So we need to do to, to use some web UI. We need to 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 create um, uh, an, an application with a, with a good experience to, to to migrate all the data, easily access the files, and so on. Um, so the goal is to is to create a web UI. Uh, for for all the users that are that are not familiar with, with technical skills, um, and uh, the second goal is to 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 onboard a lot of more data, more existing data, because there are a lot of data on Dropbox, on Google Drive, and so on that we can migrate to IPFS. Um, so this is the main goal of the of the application, the why for Dropbox to IPFS. The challenges of the application, challenges and limitation. Um, the first is um, <clears throat> with this kind of application, we we can create uh, one application to migrate all the data um, hosted on public on many clouds. I I mean public clouds like like Amazon, Box.com, Google Drive, Dropbox, and so many more uh, application that we we. The, the main challenge of the of the of the Dropbox to IPFS application is not to be to be agnostic on only on Dropbox. We can we can be uh, we can we can accept a various uh, kind of of, of cloud providers today. Um, the second challenge is um, is to replicate the access rights on IPFS on IPFS Filecoin using ACL restrictions. So maybe we can I can explore the swarms behaviors. Or some project that the, the Lawrence and Kai project to, to add some restrictions that we can we can implement in this kind of project. Um, the today the project works, but only on the big data. We can we can't host the private data on the on the on the application because uh, because all the data are using S3, so we we'll be we we'll be also on the big nodes and so on. Uh, and the other challenge uh, was to. To define the best way to create this kind of application, maybe using the browser extension that we we can't do the do, do this that way because we can we can't edit um, we can put some more text on the, the Dropbox application because it's a it's a proprietary application. Um, we we can't uh, we can't create a Dropbox clone because. The problem is that there is a lot of Dropbox clone applications uh, all over the web. Um, I mean, Estuary, uh, web, web free storage, and, and many more applications that are are not the exact same behaviors, but but it's it's very too close to do, to to create a new Dropbox clone uh, on top of that. So the best the best was to 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 use the Dropbox application. We can create a Dropbox. An application directly on Dropbox to to to, to access to a backend or something to to migrate the file. So so this is the way that um, I, ex I I have explored during the during the project. The current status of the project so the application is working with a, with a, with a few delays for the for the demo. I know that uh, I promised the demo for the for the for the the, the beginning of the week, but uh, there are there are a lot of of uh, there are so many problems uh, that, that I can't deploy the demos uh, at the, on Monday. Um, so today, the status of the project: we can migrate the files from Dropbox to IPFS. Uh, it's working. Uh, it's working. We can access to the file status. We can we can uh, we can migrate all the files easily uh, from uh, from the existing Dropbox icons. But um, the project did a lot of improvements. Um, I said just be, uh, just before that we need to to include some checks uh, on the difference between public and private files. Um, today is just a warning, but we need to maybe not send the files to to IPFS if we detect that this is not a public file. Uh, maybe using the the permissions existing on Dropbox or or something. 
um, we need to improve the login methods to, to access to, to, a, to a complete dashboard of migrated files, or of, uh, of permissions, of, of uh, file status, and so on. Um, we need to display the status of the migration because we, we are doing a, an, an in-sync migration, but we are not displaying the status. Maybe it's in staging, maybe it's not totally migrated, maybe it's not still a field or something. We need to display the status. Um, the other improvements is to manage the files, versioning, delete files, edit files, add more files related to another one already migrated uh, to, to make some kind of, of versioning. Maybe I want to put the V1, the V2, and so on. So we can we can create some some the same behaviors that have that the Dropbox uh, allow the user to do. Uh, and the the last point is to uh, to use the decentralized database systems. Today is uh, it's a PostgreSQL SQL, um, database, but we can maybe use a thread DB or something that decentralized to keep the, the the decentralized part of the of the project. So on the project, all the all the pull requests are, are welcome to, to to creating new features, to to maintain the, the, the project, to, to add um, to add exciting exciting features, uh, exciting modules, and, and so on. So I I give the, on the slide the, the the link to the Notion page on the, the GitHub repository. Uh, I can send you on the on the Discord or the or the chat just after. And the last part before, just before the, the demo, is how to use the project. So you have two 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 way to use the project. You can deploy the project on your own machine. You can you can just uh, use GitHub. You can you can uh, yeah com compile the project and use it on your on your own machine to to uh, to have all the all the data locally. Uh, so I will publish a readme on how to compile compile the project. Um, and I will also um, give access to a public hosted application, uh, maybe during the weekend or something, so you can access the public application to connect your Dropbox account and to, to start to migrate uh, a lot of files. So this is the, um, the screenshot of the applications. So I will just share my screen and do a real demo. So will be will be better than only the screenshots. Okay, so this is the application. This is the, the home screen of the application. Uh, so as I said, the, today is only uh, uh, be careful messages to, to, to not publish uh, some private files. Uh, this is all the steps that will be will be will be uh, will be executed to migrate the files. So the first step is to connect the Dropbox account. So one click on the on the button, you will access to to the Dropbox page that will uh, list all the all the works that I that I need to to um, to make the application works. So I will just uh, I will edit and I will remove uh, the 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 non necessary uh, rights uh, just uh, just after. So I will load the application. So the application uh, when the application is connected to a Dropbox icon, you you can access to to the, a kind of, of token or a kind of something to to um to to check all the file status. So today I need to improve the the the, the authentication method. So we can can have, we can add maybe a password or we can add a lot of things to 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 improve the the access to a, to to to, to, a, to a dashboards. And um, now it's just a proof of concept to. So just to create what we can do um, when migrating the files from Dropbox to IPFS. So I will just copy. I will access. So we are a very easy, a very simple login page. So I will put the token inside. So I I got already some files. So I will upload the new new files during the demo. But uh, when the, um, you have all the all the files information, so the CID just. Uh, just here in the file size, we can add the status, we can add the providers, the peer ID, and so on. We can add a lot of, of information um, about the files, uh, maybe a link to access uh, using a public gateway or, or something more. So I will add the files. So now I'm on my, on my Dropbox account. So um, the uh, when, when you connect the applications, uh, Dropbox automatically create uh, folders named send to IPFS. Uh, and when you put the files inside, the application will automatically 
uh, send all the files you put in these folders to IPFS uh, without any, without just in, in one click. So, for example, I will take maybe this one. Oh, yes, this one. I will take these pictures and I will, um, I will copy. I will uh, move move these files to to the folders apps send to IPFS. So the file has been has been moved uh, moved to uh, to the to the other folders. So now we can we can go back on. I will maybe put also this one move. Oh yeah. I will up, okay. I will upload more files in the folders. Uh, which file? Maybe this one. Okay. I will put these files inside. Okay. Okay. So now, if I'm, I think, I, I think all the files has been has been sent to to uh, to IPFS. So I just have to check. Because the application today is hosted on on my on my machine, so just have to check a um, few things. Okay, so I will put more files in the in the folders. Okay, so I got I got something very strange, but. There is something strange. I think I think on the when when connecting the application, but but what uh, I I will put uh, videos to, to to check. I think it's a, it's a, the, the the demo effect. I I don't know why why it's not working on the at, at this moment, but but I will put the videos on side. But the the behavior is just to put some files in the in the folders and we'll have access uh, just here on the on the file. So for this, I'm using some estuary API to send the files, so to send the files over, uh, over, over IPFS. So as you can see, there is a lot of files during the during the test. Um, I, I'm, I'm using some, so you can have access to links. Uh, maybe this one was just before the before the, the beginning of the of the of the Zoom Zoom session. So I can access to the to the logos. Um, I have uh, maybe some others, uh, some other files. Maybe this SQL file. I have, I got also some some pictures. You can you can maybe migrate a lot of files any size. You can also migrate some entire folders on IPFS. You can migrate uh, any any file type and and so on. So yeah, I will send the videos to to see how does it works completely.